Helmut Marko has dished out blame to both Lando Norris and Max Verstappen for their Austrian Grand Prix crash, insisting that both drivers raced unnecessarily fiercely, but that the Red Bull man could have let his rival go with the benefit of hindsight. While Marco believes that the blame for the crash should be distributed evenly between Norris and Verstappen, McLaren's team principal was adamant that the three-time world champion was solely responsible for the collision. Speaking to Sky Sports F1 about the incident, Andrea Stella fumed, the entire population of the world would know who is responsible, except for a group of people. Team principal Andrea Stella has suggested that the reason Max Verstappen continues to be overly aggressive with his defending is due to the fact that the FIA didn't hand him harsher punishments for his scuffles with Lewis Hamilton during the 2021 title fight. But the problem behind it is that if you don't address these things honestly, they will come back, Stella told Sky F1. Lando Norris has criticized Max Verstappen for being reckless and desperate in their Austrian GP battle. I do what I can, I'm trying to drive a good fair race, and it's not what I got in return from his side. I don't care about the rest. Honestly, it's not for me to decide all the penalties and things like that. I feel like what he did was unfair for my side, three of the times, no warning was issued, he did it again the final time and ruined both our races." Lando explained. Having surged to pole position with a four-tenth advantage, Verstappen was cruising in the lead with a nine-second margin over Lando Norris across the opening stint. However, the Dutchman was heard complaining about the minimal grip he was experiencing as his second stint unfolded and Norris made inroads on the leading gap. Red Bull was sluggish to respond to Verstappen's remonstrations and even slower in the pit lane as a 6.5-second stop enabled the McLaren to end up right to Red Bull's rear. Verstappen was unable to shake Norris's advances and repelled several attacks until the two collided at turn three, handing both punctures and wrecking their winning chances. Max labeled his race at the Red Bull ring a disaster. Verstappen, who cautioned earlier in the weekend that Red Bull couldn't treat its rivals catching up as normal, and believes that proves it will be beaten unless it's flawless. Everything needs to be perfect to win, we have done that well for a lot of races and today we did everything wrong, and you put yourself in that position, he explained. As I mentioned in my race prediction, Red Bull to win, has to have a good race strategy, terrific pit stops, and a flawless Verstappen otherwise kiss winning races goodbye, with a Red Bull that's no longer dominant.